school back in session and construction in full swing, the roads can feel a bit cramped, but it's important to have patience to keep you, your kiddos safe on the school bus as well and avoid a traffic ticket. Joining us this afternoon is Brandon Hewitt with Michigan Auto Law. Thanks for being on with us. Thank you so much for having us. I feel like just making some observations, people get nervous in two key places, roundabouts and then what to do with a <laughs> school bus. You always kind of see the drivers uh, around you clam up a bit. What are some laws drivers should remember when it comes to those school buses? Uh, funny, we just posted on our social media about roundabouts. Oh, really? And we're I didn't know we're that. here <laughs> talking to you about school buses, so perfect. Uh, so school buses, you know, obviously this is the busy time of year, right? Everybody's getting back into uh, getting kids to school. So the easiest thing to remember is to stop, right? So when you see two lights flashing, red lights flashing, you need to stop. Either direction that you're traveling, uh, it's 20 feet from the school bus that you need to stop. Whether you're behind the school bus or coming at the school bus, it's 20 feet. Okay, so what about the stop arm? When does that come into play? So the stop arm is really just there, number one, to make sure that you're aware that it's that they're stopping, right? So you see the red flashing lights. Back in the day, back in my day, we didn't have the stop arm, right? Okay. It was just the regular flashes, right? But now the stop arm is there to let you know that you need to stop. It's a big stop sign, right? The other thing about the stop arm is that it usually has a camera on it. So it's going to be able to catch you if you are not stopping. It's going to catch your car, your car and your license plate. And so they'll be able to ticket you if you are not stopping there. That's good to know. Are there any lesser known laws that you can tell us about? Well, a big thing is uh, kind of look at it as like traffic lights. So yellow flashing lights means you can proceed with caution, but certainly be prepared to stop, right? Um, another aspect is in a school zone, uh, be prepared to stop, especially uh, around those areas, because you don't know if kids are going to be coming out uh, from the uh, parking lot area, if they're going to be making uh, their way into a crosswalk. Um, and certainly the penalties that come with uh, not obeying these stop signs around the, the school buses. Uh, not uh, stopping is going to be up to 93 days in jail, no. um, a big fine. If you hurt somebody, if you kill somebody, it's 15 years in prison. Um, and a $75,000 fine. So there's certainly big penalties that are associated with that. But really, we just want to make people aware, be nice and safe around school buses. Again, don't assume that just because it's yellow, you should proceed. Uh, kids can be coming out around from the side of that bus. You don't see them. So it's really just let's keep the kids safe. Very quickly, I appreciate you covering those penalties. If you're on the other side of this, your kid gets injured, hurt in a bus incident. What do you do next? Uh, well, number one, call an attorney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's easy come same from an attorney, but call an attorney, know what your rights are. Uh, you're going to have some certain benefits that are for your medical bills um, or for your child's medical bills and some other aspects. Get, get some advice from the attorney. Insurance companies are going to be there to uh, provide those benefits, but get the good advice that you need as far as protecting your family. Uh, but that's the best thing to do. All right, Brandon Hewitt with Michigan Auto Law. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Thank you.